Hey, yo, what is going on, Empire? Welcome back to another daily analysis here with DTA. But before we hop into things, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about real quick, and that's network congestions. Also, MetaMask out of gas warnings. What's up with that? And also, some people can't even transfer assets from one wallet to another or purchase ETH from exchanges. And I don't know about y'all, but this kind of reminds me of what happened back in 2017 when Bitcoin had its run all the way from $900 to 20K. And it's almost like the more things change, the more they stay the same. You know what time it is. Let's hop right on into our daily analysis. So looking at CoinGecko.com, we can see that AMP is currently up 2.9%. And we've been floating in between this 0 0.049 to 0 0.053 range over the last 24 hours. Now, there is a little bit more AMP available to purchase from the open market, but we have been growing in terms of our market cap. We've actually gone from the number 45 spot all the way to the number 42 spot in terms of our rank on the cryptocurrency market cap. Now, let's take a look at Etherscan to see what's up with our daily holders. So as we can see over the last 24 hours, we've actually gone up 0.718%. Yesterday we had 28,467 holders. Today we have 28,683 holders. So a little more than 200 new members coming into the empire and joining the AMP army. And now what we've all been waiting for, let's hop right into the charts to see what's going on. So as we can see, you know, yesterday we did say that we needed to close above the 0 0.046 level, and that's exactly what we got. We had a close yesterday at 0 0.048, which is pretty bullish in my opinion. In addition to that, today we are currently above that, floating around the 0 0.05 to 0 0.051 levels. And what's even more interesting about, you know, what's happening here with these charts is that we were actually able to flip our previous resistance at the 0 0.046 level into support, right? So we now have a new support zone, which is validated from these daily candles. Now let's hop right into the four hour to see what's going on there. So on the four hour yesterday, we did call this inverse head and shoulders pattern, right? And this actually played out to the T and I actually measured this move to see how far we could possibly go up based on this market structure. And I called that we could possibly test the 0 0.057 mark in the short term. But we came just shy of that, closing and peaking yesterday at 0 0.055. Now, that's not a bad thing. And I actually did warn, warn people that, you know, you shouldn't buy at these high levels. You should wait for a pullback. Now, for anybody that did wait for a pullback, and you bought in between the 0 0.046 to 0 0.047 levels, congrats. You should be in good shape, my friends. But you know, the, the even more interesting thing about this chart is that we have this bullish pennant structure followed right after this inverse head and shoulders. So two huge bullish market structures back to back on the four hour. Now, for anybody that's unfamiliar with, you know, what these bullish pennants look like. It looks like this, right? So it really gives us a signal that it's a continuation to move to the upside. So, you know, after a breakout, you know, we have this change of direction, but, you know, we also have a series of higher lows before, you know, we continue to move up to the upside. So it really gives, you know, traders um, as well as investors an opportunity to accumulate before we continue to move upwards. And that's exactly what we're seeing right here. But, you know, before we get ahead of ourselves, it's important to, you know, really take heed of what happened in the past, specifically, you know, what previous resistance do we need to get above? And as we can see right here, we have resistance at the 0 0.051 level, right? So as long as we can get above this, we'll be in good shape. If we can't get above this, then it's likely that we may come down and test, you know, the 0 0.046 to the 0 0.047 levels before trying to move up to the upside again. Now that's what we have for AMP. And let's take a look at Bitcoin to see what's going on 
with our market leader. So on the daily for Bitcoin yesterday, we did say that, you know, these false breakdowns here normally lead to huge breakouts to the upside. And we also said that more than likely we would test the 34K levels over the next couple of days. Now, I didn't know that we would test that <laughs> within the next 24 hours, but you know, Bitcoin tends to move faster than all the other assets in cryptocurrency. Now, it's, it's a good thing that we actually did test this Fib extension level and we're continuing to you know, hold that momentum. But you know, the, the bright side of things and more so from a retrospective point of view is that over the last 100 days, Bitcoin has been in this accumulation zone, right? So we saw, you know, the, the market starting to move down, um, you know, mid-April, uh, mid-May, before we had this huge selling climax. But, you know, as things were selling, we know that accumulation was taking place. And it seems like, you know, the market is ready to start moving in an upward direction, right? And we'll confirm this as long as we're able to get above this FIB extension level, uh, which is holding us down right around 34.2K. Now, what's even more interesting about Bitcoin, let's take a look at the four hour to see, is that, you know, if we go back in time, for those of you who didn't know, um, way back here, you know, uh, mid-June, June 29th, is when Bitcoin started to enter this falling wedge structure, right? And the interesting thing about this is that, you know, we do have a resistance line that's keeping this falling wedge structure in place. But over the last couple of days on the 23rd, which was yesterday, we were able to get above this resistance line of the market structure and flip it into support. So, you know, this, this is pretty good. And this is also what we wanna see um, we came up and we tested this FIB extension level. We did hit 34K pretty quick. And right now we're pulling back slightly. I think that, you know, over the next couple of days going into the next week, we'll get above this 34K range, maybe move sideways for a bit before going up and testing the 37K range. But, you know, I say all that to say that, you know, things are changing, the narratives are changing and Bitcoin is looking extremely bullish, as well as the news that's coming out, which kind of segues me into the next section of today's analysis, right? So we do have AMP inside of the news. Again, this actually came out today from the marketperiodical.com. So if you're interested in you know, taking a read with this, they're just talking about AMP purely from a technical perspective. I'll drop a link for this website inside of the video description below. But who, who else is talking about AMP, right? I don't know, maybe Yahoo Finance? Yeah, I said it right. Yahoo Finance is talking about AMP only. And this article actually came out yesterday. So, you know, the, the good thing about Yahoo Finance is that it gives AMP exposure to a entirely new set of investors anywhere from accredited investors to institutions to even new retail investors. But, you know, in this article that came out yesterday, they're talking about what is AMP and also why is AMP one of the top movers amongst the top 50 cryptocurrencies by market cap. And even more important in this article, they talk about Flexa. This is, you know, one of the highlights of this article. They talk about Flexa and its collaboration with Gemini, the major exchanges, right? And at the bottom of this article, they actually direct investors of where to buy AMP, Coinbase and Gemini. I don't know about y'all, but you know, in light of this article from Yahoo Finance, I just have one last thing to say. Things are heating up and the summer is far from over. If you all like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want to donate to support this continuing content on a daily basis, I have my Ethereum and Bitcoin address in the video description below. Until tomorrow, DTA is out.